Imagine you have a simple electronic circuit with a resistor, R, and a capacitor, C, connected in series. We're going to explore what happens when you apply a square wave to this circuit and look at the behavior of the output across the capacitor. Time constant. Firstly, there's something called the time constant. It's like a measure of time in a circuit world. For our circuit, you calculate by multiplying the resistance, R, by the capacitance, C. This tells us how quickly our capacitor charges or discharges. Behavior with a square wave input. Now, imagine you apply a square wave to this circuit. A square wave is like an on-off switch that changes every second, period. T equals 1S. Your circuit will respond to this square wave by charging and discharging the capacitor. The time constant helps us understand this behavior. Output waveform. Here's the cool part. During the raising edge of the square wave, the capacitor charges up. It's like filling the water tank. When the square wave falls, the capacitor starts to discharge, like water slowly draining from the tank. This charging and discharging create a special waveform across the capacitor. It's not just a straight line, it's like a smooth curve, sort of like a roller coaster ride for electrons. Summary So, in summary, we've explored the time constant, the charging and discharging behavior, and the exciting waveform that emerges across the capacitor when we apply a square wave.